Your wallet, Agnes, coming to you with the dollar tree pieces. We're going to kick it up a notch or maybe a couple of notches with this pumpkin, metal pumpkin that I picked up actually with you on one of my um, trips there. Uh, you, I'm not a big fan of, um, you know, of all that decoration. So I'm just going to simply remove it. And of course, I need me some blank canvas. So I'm going to quickly add me a couple coats of that chalk paint. And I usually use the one from the Home Depot. It's cost efficient. And since I am painting a lot, so that does the job for me. Of course, there are so many ways to go around decorating this, but you know me, I will be doing my little patterns and I do want to, for this one, to do the checks. And I do want to actually show you, if you do want to make one, how you can keep the roundiness with the check. So as you can see is I am drawing my lines, marking my lines right on the side, on the angle as one of the side of my pumpkin is going. And I'm trying to match some sort of, you know, plus minus, uh, both sides, both both other um, corners of my pumpkin. Okay, so now I need to divide them and create a little, you know, sort of compartment that they are not going to be really squares, but uh, they just going to create that little, you know, uh, roundiness effect to a check. So that's what I'm doing. And the, uh, believe it or not, the right side is a little bit different, but I'm going to still squeeze it a little bit. And, you know, some of my checks are going to be tiny. When it comes to the middle, I do want to create my own oval first in the middle and then um, try to do the similar weight on the sides, um, you know, my lines that are sort of um, also on the angle that they imitate the, the, you know, the shape of my pumpkin since this metal piece is three dimensional. And all what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to connect them in the middle. And the middle portion is going to be on a bigger side versus uh, the sides, versus the sides, because obviously this is the front of the pumpkin. So we are cre creating some sort of, uh, um, how do you call this even in English? Um, effect of, um, not drama, well, help me out. I'm, I'm again. I lost. So now I am marking off my little squares here to make sure that I nothing can distract me. And I'm good to. This is the actually the X's that I'm putting. This is where my color is going to be. And I am actually wondering: Do I go for black or do I go for different colors? So this time i actually decided to um, use a super deep um, navy color for my project okay so i'm going to squeeze a little bit of it and i'm going to dip my uh, brush and i know you're going to be telling me oh i can't do it i uh, this is not the project for me of course you can if you're going to get yourself a good brushes and if you do want to know exactly which one i'm using make sure to say that in the comments and i will for sure send you the link because they are available on uh, amazon these are the brushes that are short and these are the brushes that are uh, very tight and you know and very um stiff so it's easier to create those lines and as you can see is my lines are not perfect too but as i always tell you there are other things that we're going to do to those lines um to make them look good not going to hold you through the whole process i actually do see that the color is uh, very transparent so the translucent so that means is that i am going to be uh correcting my lines um again but it's again i do i, I do want it to at least for you to give a try it doesn't have to be the the ch you know checks it could be actually a lines just to practice your uh you know strokes and as you can see is i usually try to outline each of those uh, compartments that I dedicated to paint with color and then I just fill them up little by little you're going to get there I mean and again as I always say is wait till the end you're going to see what we're going to do to make those lines look a little bit better so here we go I'm right at the end and now I'm going over uh, my checks to make sure that they do have uh, that nice solid look to it I mean I don't add mind variation because I'm going to be still adding things to it but do you see the shape of the pumpkin? 
So what I like to do right now is to hide some wonky lines and some add some life to whatever the pattern we have. And I'm just going to first outline the, the portions of my pumpkin where we were concentrating with our lines. And then of course, I'm going to add, especially um, on the edges of my squares where I was not really too good making my uh, lines. See, all of a sudden, everything comes to life. Everything seems to make sense. And I do want to actually drag my gold um, on the, on, you know, in between the black and white. And I, of course, I wanted to, and of course, I wanted to also drag a little bit on, um, or where the white is, just so it looks like it is a hand painted. So, uh, and this is what usually Mackenzie Child pieces look like. They do have those shadings all over. So now I'm bringing a little bit of the white and I'm going to do the same, but it's literally dry brushing. So I'm adding the depth to each of those squares. Don't you think that those little accents that I am adding bringing that fullness and you do actually see a 3D effect? So now it's time to just, you know, protect all of it. And I do like to use my triple deck. I'm just going to apply a nice coat over it. So it does have that super gloss um, effect. If you do not have one, you can, of course, use the um, high gloss matte patch. But, um, but it's again, both of them will work fine. Well, it's so funny the way I paint. I mean, it, I spent so much time because the, the deal with this whole varnish is to make sure that everything is just nicely distributed um, before you, um, you go and let it to dry because you do not want to have a streak. So now I do want to actually make a plan. I do have that little sign, hello, fall. Then I do have a napkins that I do want to decoupage on my um, board. And now this is the problem, <laughs> which one I'm going to do. Since my pumpkin is super busy, do I go with the plane? And obviously I got to bring the napkin that uh, has a little bit of a gold. And those napkins are just absolutely gorgeous. One of my sassies sent them to me um, and I just have to put a lot of them to you. So here is my option. Here is the second option I'm thinking. So which way do I go, guys? We see these are the times that I should have been with you. You would have direct me and help me out to make a decision. But guess what? As much as I do love gold, I will go for this colorful one. So my pumpkin is going to even look more uh, dressed up. So I'm adding again a little bit of the matte patch, trying to make sure that this is not a lot because I do not want to have a wrinkles and I'm spreading it beautifully evenly and I'm going to apply my napkin to it. Of course, I had to grab the end of the Mod Patch uh, on my fingers so I can separate my napkins. These are my way of doing it. I usually use a little bit of the Mod Patch and just squeeze it right there and um, try to remove the napkin, separate the plies from it. And uh, oops, I just ripped a little bit of my napkin but that's okay, it's going to be decoupaged. We're going to make sure that the pattern's beautifully um, lined up. So I'm just going to start from the side. I don't wanna waste the napkin. I do want it to use portion of it, and here we go. I'm going to add it right there, and it's done. I do not like to use my fingers to make sure the napkin's attaching itself beautifully. I always like to use the surround wrap this is sort of my like, uh, you know, iron technique. <laughs> I smooth all the wrinkles. It's actually doing a better job than um, the iron because sometimes you cannot really use it. So now my napkin is all nicely attached to my board. Now it's time to bring my sanding block and gently remove the excess of the napkin. Absolutely love the way that board came out. So, okay, so now it's time to just put all together. So I have this hello fall sign and I'm thinking to offset it a little bit and bring of course the gold that I did not really bring much, I'm going to quickly use my glorious gold and paint it over. I think it's going to present itself super nice. Okay, so I think that was the done deal. Couple coats and um, I, I think that this is going to do. But now I'm, I'm thinking, what am I going to do to the top of it? So I do have a Dollar Tree leaves that I wanted to actually put some wax on it because they are a little bit too red for me. So I'm going to bring my gold, here I go with the gold, and I'm just going to wax it. 
get that straight. The color, the red is beautiful. I just feel like the, it's going to be too much with so much happening on the napkin and on the pumpkin of that red. So I'm just going to tone it down and bring it a little bit more to my uh, project. And of course, I have to hit a little bit of those berries because I think I'm going to use them. I think I'm going to leave the green leaf and I add alone the way it is because it will nicely uh, fit together. So let's just see. I think it's a done deal. I think it's time to get the hot glue, put this all together. No, of course, I need to bring some more gold. Like I don't have enough, but that's okay. And I, I guess that will be it. I don't think I need the stem. I may actually bring a little bit of the moss. Well, let's just see how all plays out bit of the gold for the edges and I think my uh, frame is going to be all good but now look what happens it does have that sort of vintage look to it the the gilding wax really changed the overall look of um, everything so I think um, yeah our project is coming actually along beautifully do not know about you but I always say it's anything you touch I mean anything anything you touch with the gold it's actually bringing that additional uh, flair and it's again the gold is not really that big in your face so of course now I have to go back a little bit with my triple tick and um, protect a little bit of the edges even though there is a wax but obviously I am dealing with the napkin so it's always a good idea enough playing with this <laughs> So now it's up to um, how do we going to position the leaves? Do I leave them all around or do I put the green one? I do want to for sure want to have that green visible. But you know what? No matter what I'm going to do, I guess it's, it's going to be the matter of later pulling it all together. So I think I do like it. So let's get the hot glue, glue it all together, hide that little, you know, top that I used to have the little raffia bow right on it. And um, hopefully that's going to work. Oh, it's easier to separate the pieces because then you can um, add them the way you want it. So I'm going to just go ahead and go for it. I am afraid that my little hello fall sign may be uh, lightly um, covered with all those leaves. But you know what? Uh, we'll just have to deal with it when we get there. So I feel it's all good. So now I so love the way it looks. Okay, a little bit of the raffia and uh, not raffia, the... Um, um, moss and i think um i hidden nicely everything up be, uh, behind ladies and gentlemen let's not forget about the bling the bling gotta be there i'm just going to glue it just because and i use the uh um the dusty rose here right there and i think it does look so good oh my goodness have you ever seen dollar tree plugs this is literally everything that you see except the uh, moss and except the uh, bling obviously it is all dollar tree oh my goodness this looks so beautiful and i really hope that you do enjoy um this project too i cannot wait to make the pictures for you I'm going to play around a little bit with my leaves, but I absolutely love this project. Does it show that this is a Dollar Tree stuff? I don't think so. Now check it out. A little bit of a napkin, a little bit of the paint. And now look, all of a sudden, the whole stuff is looking completely different. So I really hope that I inspired you and I really hope that you are going to look at your Dollar Tree pieces a little bit differently and kick them up a notch or two or three. Again, oh, this is actually Dollar Tree Pumpkin too. Um, okay, so um, again, thanks for watching and I would really greatly appreciate if you would sprinkle this for me um, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.